We've all been hearing about Apple's AI smart glasses leaks for months. And now, after years of vague whispers, last week, we finally have the clearest sign that Apple is far closer to launching this device than anyone expected. And this time, it doesn't come from rumors. It doesn't come from supply chain leaks. And it doesn't even come from analysts guessing about prototypes. It comes straight from Apple itself through a patent that quietly solves the single biggest problem every smart glasses manufacturer has struggled with, and that's the problem of heat. People underestimate how hard it is to build glasses. You're trying to hide a processor, a camera, a sensor array, radios, antennas, speakers, batteries, and a micro display inside a frame the thickness of a pencil. And once all of that is inside, the device has to sit directly against your skin for hours without getting hot, heavy or uncomfortable. That's where almost every company in this space has struggled. Meta's Ray-Ban glasses get noticeably warm during extended video capture. Xiaomi's glasses develop hot spots during continuous translation or navigation. These aren't flaws, they're physical limits everyone has run into. But Apple has been preparing for this challenge for almost a decade. While other companies focused on rushing out early products, Apple spent years quietly solving the engineering problems first. One of the key parts of any smart glasses design is the arm, because that's where almost all the key miniature components are integrated. Apple has been filing patents for this part for years, covering arm layouts, cooling channels, hinge structures, and component placement. Patently, Apple has already highlighted earlier smart glasses arm patents. And last week, yet another one dropped, making it crystal clear just how central this arm is to the final product. As I've said, there is no such thing as a single patent for a finished Apple device. Vision Pro alone is backed by roughly 5,000 patents, different teams, different engineers, different ideas. When Apple is finally ready to ship a new product, they pull the best solutions from this pile and merge them into one design. This new glasses arm design patent is one of those foundational pieces. In this patent, Apple is attacking the hardest ergonomics problem in smart eyewear, heat where it touches your skin. The document lays out a full thermal architecture for AR and VR glasses that pulls heat away from the user's temple and ear, spreads it across an outward-facing surface, and even conducts it into the hinge for dissipation, while shielding temperature-sensitive components like the battery. The core idea is simple but powerful. Direct heat outward, protect the wearer and the battery. In most current smart glasses, the processor or battery sits too close to the temple, so the inner surface warms up. Apple's design flips that logic completely. Inside the arm, the SOC, the brain of the glasses, is positioned closer to the outer wall rather than the inner wall. Between the chip and that outer wall, Apple adds a thermal interface material. Behind that, they line the inside of the outward wall, with a long thermal spreader made from graphite, copper, or pitch-based carbon fiber. The fibers are oriented along the surface to distribute heat evenly and avoid hot spots. So instead of heat moving inward toward your head, it travels outward along the exterior shell and dissipates naturally into the ambient air. On top of that, the patent describes an alternate heat path that can run in parallel. Heat can flow from the SOC into the PCB, then into a metal chassis, through the arm hinge and into the display housing. In other words, the hinge itself becomes part of the cooling system, a metallic heat highway that carries warmth away from your skin and into structures that are better suited to dump it to the environment. The system can be tuned so most of the thermal load flows outward through the arm surface a smaller portion through the hinge, and almost none through the inner wall that touches your face. Meanwhile, the user-facing side of the arm is heavily protected. Apple builds in air gaps between the processor region and the inner wall, which slows thermal transfer towards the head. These gaps can be tuned from fractions of a millimeter up to several millimeters. 
The patent gives examples around 0.4 to 0.5 mm near the SOC. Around the batteries, the gaps are even larger, roughly 10% of the cell's thickness. To both, accommodate natural swelling and cut heat flow into the cell. Batteries hate heat. It accelerates capacity loss and stresses the chemistry. Apple's design isolates them inside controlled pockets away from the main hot zones. Structurally, the arm is a unibody enclosure with a world-facing outer surface and a user-facing inner surface running from the arm tip to the hinge. There's an access opening near the hinge so the internal subassembly can be installed. That subassembly is a PCB carrying the SOC encapsulated with epoxy molding compounds with optional heat sinks or tiny vapor chambers positioned toward the outward side. Over that, the thermal interface material and spreader line the inner face of the outer wall. All of this is built around the idea that natural conduction and free convection are enough. No fans, no vents, no moving parts. The eyewear form factor stays sealed and silent. Taken together, this is more than a clever trick. It's a thermal system with multiple coordinated paths that share the load. Tuned so the outer surface and hinge carry most of the heat while the inner side stays cool. It improves comfort during long sessions, reduces thermal stress on the battery, and because the patent specifies materials, layer thickness ranges and assembly strategies, it is clearly intended to be manufacturable at scale. And where Meta and uh, Xiaomi try to hide electronics inside frames that resemble regular sunglasses, Apple is heading in a different direction. According to earlier design references, Apple's AI glasses may look more like a futuristic visor, something in the spirit of Porsche Design's P8951 and P8952 sunglasses, but with taller, thicker temples. That extra volume gives Apple space for thermal layers, more battery channels, larger processors, and more sophisticated optics. It also frees them from many of the constraints that Meta and Xiaomi are still fighting against, like trying to fit everything into a slim, fashion-first silhouette. Navigation is another obvious use case. When you're walking or cycling, the glasses can project turn-by-turn -turn directions directly into your view. Instead of glancing down at your phone, arrows and indicators sit where they belong, aligned with the environment. Apple has already laid much of the groundwork for this with AR Kit and Apple Maps. Driving will probably be off the table initially for regulatory and safety reasons, but for foot traffic and bikes, the experience could feel completely natural. Cameras will be built in, but not with the goal of replacing an iPhone camera system. They'll be tuned for AI vision tasks, object recognition, text translation, scene understanding and simple capture. Meta leans heavily into social content creation. Xiaomi leans into translation and quick capture. Apple is leaning into environmental understanding. Their camera is there for intelligence, not aesthetics. Audio will be integrated with the same subtlety as the rest of the system. Tiny speakers in the arms will handle audio prompts, translation, navigation cues, calls, FaceTime audio and music. Apple Music will be there on day one. FaceTime will be deeply integrated. Third-party apps like WhatsApp or Messenger will join as developers support the platform. The intent is clear. These glasses are meant to feel like a natural extension of your iPhone, not a separate headset. Most signs point to 2026 as the earliest realistic launch window. Meta, Xiaomi and a growing group of Chinese manufacturers are moving quickly and Apple doesn't want a repeat of Vision Pro where a technically advanced product lands in a niche while competitors define the broader category. WWDC 2026 is the logical announcement stage with a release sometime in late 2026 or early 2027 to give developers time to build real experiences. Pricing is still speculation, but Apple has already learned what happens when you push too far into the ultra-premium range. Vision Pro proved that $3,000 plus keeps adoption slow. Meta's glasses currently sit under $800. 
Xiaomi's offerings are even cheaper. That gives Apple room to come in under $1,000 and still feel premium, especially since these glasses don't need dual 4K micro OLED panels and the same complexity as Vision Pro. When these glasses arrive, they won't be a gimmick. They won't be sunglasses with a camera. They'll be Apple's next computing platform, a device built to enhance your day without pulling you out of it. Something that helps you understand your surroundings, navigate the world, translate what you see, and access information instantly without breaking eye contact with reality. Meta and Xiaomi built the early waves of AI glasses. Apple looks like it's building the version that pushes the category into the mainstream. So here's the real question. If Apple really brings this level of engineering to a pair of glasses, do you see yourself switching from Meta or Xiaomi? Or is this still too early for you to wear every day? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest moving AI and tech breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.